What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a cool little workaround I found for Google Play Music. Now, it's not necessarily, necessarily the workaround that everybody's been looking for. It's not a perfect one, but it does get the job done. Um, and it's for a version, well I guess for any version right now it's 5.0 and up. Because that's what's available. Uh, basically, it's going to allow you to take music on whatever device you download it on. And you're going to have it anywhere as well as your Google Play Music library. Um, and if you don't know what Google Play Music is, it's just Google's music player slash uh, Pandora slash Spotify-like service with their new All Access, which is kind of a long name, Google Play Music All Access. The service itself works very well. I've been testing it out for about a couple weeks now. I'm not going to pay for it because there are free alternatives. I love the interface. I love how well it matches music. But that's for a different day. So uh, let's, let's take a look at this workaround. I'm not the first person to think of, to think of it. I I'm sure, you know, it came to my head, but I guarantee someone else out there has thought of it. But I figure let's, uh, let's show you how I did it. So let's take a look. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to find some form of a cloud storage. I know Google Drive, if they haven't already, uh, Google said that they're going to be offering 15 gigabytes of storage, which is a good amount if you're looking at, you know, just music, even anything, 15 gigabytes is a pretty good amount. It's about, you know, like a smartphone, actually more with all the operating system junk. So uh, I myself use one called Copy. I don't think I don't know if the promotion's still going on. It may be, but they had a promotion when they first, uh, pretty much when Google Drive announced that they were going to be offering 15 gigabytes. You get 15 to start, and each referral you get, you get an extra five. So I, I worked my way up to 40 gigabytes, which is ample memory. So what you're going to want to do is install some form of it. So as you can see here, I have Copy, and I created a folder on my computer called Google Play Music in my copy folder. So what happens is every time I add a song like you see over here, um, I'm, it's going to be uploaded automatically to my Google Play Music because I have my Google Play Music uh, library set to actually upload any music that's in there. Now what does this mean You know, relatively to everything else? Well I also have a dry, uh, excuse me, copy uploaded, downloaded rather, to my tablet to my computer, to my phone, um, anywhere that I find a song that I like, I just grab it and I upload it to my copy folder. So let's let's show you what exactly this whole process means. Okay, so let's give you a little walkthrough of how this is going to work. I'm going to go here through my to my music folder. I use let me see, ROM Toolbox Lite as my uh, browser, my file browser. So let's go to root browser here, and then we're going to go to my music folder within my storage and my SD card okay so music right here I have all these different songs you may have your opinions on them but these are my, the music that I have in here right now so this, these are songs that I've downloaded what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go into copy I'm going to go into my Google Play music folder and then these are the songs that are currently inside that folder and all the album art with it you know there's a fair amount what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button down here to upload, scroll over to files, hit internal storage or SD card depending on where you saved your songs. So music, so now I'm going to choose, I'm not actually going to upload these because all these are already in my file. So let's just say we'll do, uh, I don't know, Lightning Crashes by Live, good song. So we check mark it, we're going to hit upload, and then from there, copy is going to upload it to that Google Play Music folder that I created um, which kind of takes its home base on my PC if you will and now as soon as it's finished uploading um, on my computer Google Play Music which is set to upload that folder is gonna recognize that hey there's another song there let's download it or or upload it I always I don't know why I keep saying download so it's gonna upload it to Google Play Music now I'm gonna have that song within my actual library from there, if there, let's say on my tablet I don't have that song, but it will show up on my actual Google Play library. I can what's I can do what's called keeping it on this device so long as device the device is authorized to use my library, which up to ten can be. So you should be all right. So let's go find one that I don't have here. I don't know that I have this Taylor Swift one. I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but this one's okay. That's not even a Taylor Swift song. That's weird. Cruella, that's a great uh, dubstep artist. So this little pin right here, we're going to hit it. And now it's saving it to my device, keeping requested music, as you can see there, and my little notifications. There you have it. It's downloading. 
The only catch with that is Google Play Music, firstly, will only save to your internal memory card. Uh, so say you have a phone like the one that has 32 gigabytes standard memory or you have a larger capacity smartphone, that's not really a big deal. I have the Note 2. My internal memory is running a little low. I'm trying to clean up some space, so it's kind of a pain. Um, there was a workaround with Google Play Music 4 and up uh, before 5 came out that allowed you to actually basically... Uh, in layman terms, terms, change the destination that it saves to. It just makes the phone think that instead of saving to this Google Play Music internally, we're just going to save it to the ex external one. It's not difficult. It just involves a couple different uh, changing a couple different authorizations and whatnot. It's it's there's a quick guide for it on XDA that I can throw in the link uh, in the description. But uh, that's pretty much it. Very convenient. I mean, I can be on the road and, and hear a song. I mean, well, not on the road. Don't text and drive. That's not good. Uh, but seriously, I, I don't do that. I'm probably one of the only young folks who don't. <laughs> Please don't. Anyway, uh, let's say I'm, I don't know, somewhere, and I hear a song. The other day I was at Kohl's. I heard a song I really liked, and I managed to use uh, SoundHound and, and hardly, but I was able to scan it and see what it was. Uh, and I found it. I downloaded it, and then I uploaded it to my copy folder, which in turn uploaded it to my Google Play Music. And now I have that song wherever I want as long as I log into my Google account. It's really handy. And again, I know I'm not the first to think of this. It's just my workaround for it until Google offers us an alternative, which I'm not sure that they ever will. You can use any sort of cloud storage because most offer, if not all, offer a desktop pro, uh, software to do something like this. So pretty much you just got to tell Google Play Music, hey, I want you to upload this, you know, anything that comes into this folder, just like you would do for any folder, your music folder on your computer. It's basically the same thing, except it's kind of a, a cloud folder, if you will. And you can still download that. Like, let's say I wanted to, uh, I use the Zune software for, I know, call me old-fashioned, I just like the layout of the Zune better. I have my FM transmitter in my car for Zune. I have my actual Zune software set to take any songs that are in that copy folder and add them to my Zune. So it's just kind of all synchronous in the background, and it's really... It's just convenient is what it is. So, Well, there you have it. You have a pretty neat little workaround for Google, for Google Play Music. It's ideal if you have a larger capacity for internal storage. I'm waiting, hoping, praying, keeping my fingers crossed, doing whatever I got to do that eventually at some point Verizon is going to get it in the near future. They've already confirmed that it's going to happen, but there's been a lot of uh, speculation on this whole DNA Plus or Deluxe Plus. I really don't want... A rehash of the DNA, I would like an HTC One. Not that the DNA is bad, but I just prefer the aluminum design because not a whole lot of Android phones have that. It's just different, you know. And I really want to see HTC succeed. They're a company that I've always kind of liked, and I don't think that they deserve to do as poorly as they're doing. Whole other topic for maybe another day. I'll do a rant about it. Anyway, uh, I hope that's helped you guys. It's helped me tremendously. I mean, it's just so convenient to say. Oh, yeah, I got that song, but uh, it's on my computer. No, it's, it's a lot easier to be like, yeah, let me pull that song real quick. Real easy to do. So if you liked it, please uh, give me a like, uh, comment down there, subscribe. All those things help me out so much more than you know. I'm very slowly starting to build up a small reputation, and I need your guys' help in order to do so. And get my name out so that I can keep giving you better videos. Um, and, you know, maybe someday I'll be as big as MKBHD. You know, who knows? He's a college student as well. You know, he's done it. I just need your support to help me get there. If you don't know who MKBHD is, I'm going to put a link to his description or his channel in the description because I love that guy. He's awesome. Um, and then if you don't know who PewDiePie is, I'm about to reference him. He's one of the most subscribed to channels on YouTube with something like 8.7, 8.8 million. So uh, here comes the brofist. PewDiePie, this is for you. See you guys.